Dr. Lawrence Woods, expert biomechanics. Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. Big fight coming up. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to tell you exactly who's going to win. Okay, before we begin, I, would, I just want to be straight up with you. I am not an expert on UFC fighting. In fact, I've never seen Conor McGregor or any UFC fight ever in my life. Um, but I have worked with hundreds of fighters, in fact, some world champions. And so I do have an expert eye on biomechanics. And that's what I'm going to be commenting on today. And from that, I will give you my quote-unquote diagnosis. Okay, so on with the first clip. Khabib has a positional awareness unlike anything I've ever seen before. His center of balance is always over his dominant position, and it seems like Khabib's world, or where he wants to take this game, is on the mat. It seems like that's his world, and that's where he's best. Uh, I used to wrestle and occasionally get a guy who could work an angle, but this guy, this guy takes it to a whole new level. Look how many possible maneuvers, how many vectors this guy. This guy controls the arms, his opponent's legs, and look how much pressure he puts on the sternum. And it's it's hard to even imagine what these his opponents are going through. But when you're putting that much pressure on your rib cage, you just can't take a deep breath. And then what happens is acidosis, this thing called acidosis starts to creep in. And you just get fatigued, you get weak, and you start making poor judgments. So, so this guy is kind of like a, a spider, and he's weakening his opponent before he comes in to finish him off. Very impressive. Okay, now let's take a look at Connor. Wow, he's a southpaw, didn't know that. Um, Connor here in Ireland is, is like a modern day mythological creature. He's the stuff legends are made of. And, you know, we're very proud of it. And we haven't been this proud since the World Cup in 1990. But uh, if you look at his performance, he's quintessentially, he's, he's, he's an all around, almost perfect athlete. He's, I, I got a chance once to see Michael Jordan play. And he's, I'd say he's on par with Michael Jordan. He has a surgical precision. He's speed. Uh, he can move his body in very various angles. And... Um, he kind of reminds me of uh, like like Bruce Lee. And what I mean by that is he's striking in a relaxed position. If you take a look at his joints, look at his shoulders, his arms, his joints, everything's fluid. He's not trying. Um, he's, he's kind of allowing his body to move through the environment. And, you know, there's a lot more going on here with Conor McGregor. This guy seems uh, intelligent. He's confident beyond measure. But most of all, he's present, and it seems like he's connected to something much more profound. His mind is empty. I am, I, I, I've never seen, actually, I've never seen Connor perform before, and that's, this is, wow, this is going to be a, an amazing fight. Okay, on to the next clip. All right, another fantastic example of ground leverage and contortions and mauling and trapping the arms and legs and feet. This guy's like an animal. He stays on top of his opponent like a pressure cooker while he's striking them. It's kind of like death by a thousand cuts. However, on his feet, it's a different story. And, and this is where he might be exposed because when he's on his feet, he, if, you, if you watch him, he's kind of predictable and he's one dimensional and he's using short lever strikes. And so if he stays in his, if he stays on his feet, Connor is going to destroy him because Connor is anything but one dimensional. Connor can turn on a dime. Connor can angle and from any position. And he, if if somebody's predictable, Connor's going to destroy him. So for Khabib to win, he's got to bring this match to his terms. And his terms is going to be on the mat, and it's going to be the outer part of the octagon at the cage because what this is going to do is this is where he applies his pressure, and this limits Connor from having any options. Okay, great clip, and uh, let's take a look at Connor. Clip for Connor to win this fight, he's got to stay on his feet. He can't bring this to the mat. He's got to bring this to his terms. He's got to lead this fight, and you know Connor's movement patterns are second to none. Uh, if you look at his hip movements they're perfect the way he can adjust and scramble and uh and he can even change the tempo 
I like his 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 movement patterns. He, he, he keeps a wider than normal foot stance, and he keeps that right arm out there. And the right arm is pretty interesting because it's almost like an antenna, where he's detecting any potential movement patterns from his opponent. And his left is lethal, is lethal. And you know, folks, he is textbook perfect. He draws his energy from his hips, and he uses his serratus and his serratus muscles. Did you ever see the movie Rocky? Rocky, like like the first Rocky, not when not Rocky 15. Okay, but when Stallone is holds his arms out here, he has these three humongous muscles right here. They're the serratus muscles, and particularly for boxers, it's the serratus anterior muscle. And the reason why it's so important, when you watch Connor strike, it, the, when he uses the hips and he's drawing power from the hips, and he uses the serratus, he's creating a torque or torsion, which increases the impact exponentially. It makes it so lethal. So Connor needs to keep moving, which kind of brings us to his Achilles heel. And, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I, I, I'm just I'm just giving it my impression. This is my opinion, okay? But I think it's his fitness level. And you're probably thinking there, what the heck are you thinking? This guy this guy trains harder than anybody. And that's, I get it. That's not what I'm talking about. I've, I've been at this for a long time, and I've been working with a lot of people like this. And, and one thing I see, particularly in South Paul, so people come to me, is that I see... A, a, a problem, a structural problem. And if you look at these videos here, you can see, if you look at the, the fossa in here, at the base of the neck, you can see on the right side, there's a bit of inflammation there. But particularly when you look at the back of his neck, you can see a slight rotation at the base of his spine there. Now, without getting into too much anatomy here, what's happening there, and this is my opinion, is we're seeing what they call subluxation. Subluxation is a slight rotation out of his normal alignment. And what this does, it pinches on these nerves, and these nerves go through the areas that he needs for breathing, responsible for breathing, the muscles, the lungs, and everything like that. And it's just, it's kind of like if you have a rock on your hose going to your garden. It doesn't matter how much you give it water, how much you give it anything. It's, it's just it's just not going to do well. So the, the training is not the issue. The, it's just the interference there. And like I said, I, I've been at this for a long time, and I see this a lot. And it's a simple fix. Uh, other than that, though, his, 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 his technique is absolutely perfect. But the thing, again, he cannot let Khabib take this to the ground. He's got to stay on his feet. He's got to keep his distance. And he's got to be unpredictable. Khabib is, is very predictable. And if you watch Khabib, he steps in to make a punch, he jumps back. If Connor goes with him, it doesn't let him go in and out. If he stays with him, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna take control of his game and he should do really, really well. Okay, let's see the next video. Okay, this clip shows Khabib striking is sometimes wild and off balance, and which leaves him wide open for Connor's counterpunch, which is can be unpredictable, and he can and he can he can attack from any angle. Also, when Khabib, when he's literally when his back's against the cage, he is uh, his he's actually literally on his back foot. Uh, his 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 movement patterns become very predictable. They become very linear and erratic. He moves in straight lines, and his footwork becomes off, which could give him massive balance issues. Uh, Khabib's strength are in short lever maneuvers, okay, and that that's mostly at the outer perimeter of the cage. So it would be absolutely pointless for him to make a short lever maneuver towards Connor in the middle of the arena because Connor is lightning fast and he'll just get away from him and he's going to suffer the counter. So, oh, and lastly, another thing is another vulnerability with Khabib is is he always, 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 every single time he always takes down with the right shoulder, okay for what that's worth. Okay, now let's wrap this up with Connor. Okay, two things here. In this clip with Connor and Chad Mendez, uh, Connor's showing some difficulty getting off his back. Now, no disrespect to Chad Mendez, but Khabib is a different kettle of fish altogether. I mean, if Connor's struggling here, what's he gonna what's it gonna be like when this Russian gorilla starts squeezing the life out of you? And lastly, um, if you look at Connor's sparring, his counter with his sparring partner, uh, he kind of leaves his right leg exposed. And he'll never ever, ever get away with that with Khabib, because Khabib will do his signature takedown. He'll do the single leg takedown. And then the squeezing begins. Okay, now, finally, on to my conclusion. I'm going to tell you exactly who's going to win this fight. Next. 
this is kind of a coin toss because you're looking at two of the greatest fighters of our day and their styles are diametrically different. But this fight's going to come down to movement patterns and, uh, uh, well, for example, like if they stay on their feet, the fighters stay on their feet, Conor McGregor's going to win. If it goes to the mat, Khabib's going to win. It's that simple. It's that simple. That's what's going to happen. And I don't think this fight's going to go the full distance. I don't think it's going to be a long match. It's going to be a short match. And my prediction is, are you ready? Drum roll. Is that Conor McGregor is going to go down here. And I, I hate saying this, but what's going to happen is eventually Khabib's going to get a hold of him and he's going to bring him down and Conor's proverbial batteries are going to drain to zero. And then that's where Khabib's going to take control of this fight and it's going to be game, set, match. That's my prediction. I know you're not going to like what I had to say here. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest and objective. But please subscribe anyway. And uh, we'll talk really soon. Thank you. Thank you for watching.